Just up in here to remind you that whatever you see on social media is a lot more romanticized and aesthetic and whatever it is in real life and people normally don't showcase or talk about their problems and so that when you watch these videos you shouldn't compare yourself and you shouldn't compare your lives and that a job is just a function of a job and it's not in any way an indication of your self-worth so yeah please enjoy Hello friends, welcome to Joyful Encounters. My name is Joy, I am a 20-something Indonesian girl working as an engineer here in Bloomberg, New York City. Welcome to a chaotic work week in my life that is realistic and full of anxiety. So, I hope you enjoy! Hello friends, well, I went to get a haircut because my hair was really messy but then at the hair salon I vomited three times and also on the Uber on the way home so so this is a realistic week in my life. I think the hardest part about like living alone or being single and living away from your family is whenever you fall ill. One of the most unpleasant things about being independent is that when you're sick you're literally dying on your own. Fortunately I don't get sick that often but the week I decided to film a week in my life I got sick haha <laughs> so yeah. Good morning today is it is a Tuesday and it is a week after I filmed the last video. It was supposed to be a week in my life last week, but I was like literally bedridden from like food poisoning for two days after that. Like I know the vlog is supposed to be realistic. If I have nothing to show you, it's also not a vlog. So here we are a week later. I have a bajillion events at work too. There's a raffle slash giveaway for the end of year. And I have three one-on-ones today. So I'm just going to add a little bit of color to my face yeah i don't normally wear that much makeup to work but today i will try to look not sick <laughs> later after work i'm gonna pick up miffy and i will show you so i'm really excited for that now let's go and get to work anti-fragile anti-fragile in the subway like this and I walked 20 minutes okay unfortunately the miffy isn't miffying like it's cute but it wouldn't light up I shall tidy up my space because literally it looks like a tornado just came and destroyed my apartment and then after that I'm gonna have dinner and once again watch my k-drama because it's been a long day 
Hello friends, it is Wednesday and it's 8 a.m. I just finished filming two videos because I will not have the time this weekend and I'm gonna be traveling soon so I decided to just like film both videos in one go. And you know what? I feel pretty good about them. Now I'm hungry, I'm gonna go get coffee and I thought I was gonna have a chill morning but then something broke and I'm on call so it didn't end up being a very chill morning but I want to talk about like anxieties and how like work has made me relatively sort of a more anxious person and when I'm anxious or stressed from the present I tend to like think about the future a lot more and sometimes I like to imagine like oh my god all the things that will go wrong in my life it's not healthy and I found this podcast episode by Mel Robbins who I absolutely adore by the way it talks about how every time you find yourself catastrophizing you should ask yourself what if it all worked out instead I find that to be very helpful whenever I start catastrophizing if you like podcasts you should listen to that and you should listen to that. Literally just eating leftovers from I think two days ago or yesterday for my lunch. Hello friends. It's about 10 p.m. right now. Had dinner with a friend and then we walked around the water which is really cold so now my skin is kind of burning mega hydrating right now because it was so cold i watched this tiktok video and i know how like normally i watch tiktok for the lols for like all the k-pop k-drama stuff and like memes and all that but i found this tiktok that talked about like reframing your perspective which is something i feel like really helps me when i'm feeling really anxious about life which <laughs> i always am when i'm working so i'm gonna spend a little bit of my time writing out the prompts inspired from that video I have to slightly clean my kitchen and do a little bit of work before I do other things before I go to bed. Wow, my to-do list is like long and endless. But before that, I'm gonna I'm just gonna chill and enjoy Encounters, which is this K-drama featuring Park Bokum, who is my absolutely favorite Korean actor, and Song Hye Kyo, this absolutely gorgeous Korean actress. The storyline does not make sense. In fact, I hate it, but but they look so good together, I can't stop watching it. And yeah, it's Thursday, which means that usually by this day of the week, I, I have lost the will to meal prep slash eat clean, and that's why I am eating takeout. If we could run it, if we could run it back into your water, if we could run it back, if we could run it, if we could run it back into your water. Therapy. Hey, this little session is art therapy. We're probably going to put it on that paper. I was supposed to be miserable, but I told myself this is what will make us work. Like, I don't know. Okay besties, it's 9.06 and I'm gonna do a little bit of work. I normally try not to do work after work hours because I realize that it's sort of like my coping mechanism. Okay, in the past, whenever I felt like I was underperforming, I would always work extra hours. It would not actually improve my performance, it just like made me more tired and it was just like this toxic cycle of like 
overworking but because i'm going to indonesia next week and i have code that needs to get reviewed asap i'm gonna get it all done so my future self will not be behind on her code reviews and so it's only 30 minutes of work i promise Since I'm working from home tomorrow, I'm cheating and not going to bed and instead will be reading and journaling a little bit because I get to sleep in a little bit tomorrow morning. The book is called The Creative Act, which I found from this YouTuber, this half Indonesian YouTuber who has this really nice video on Bali. I'm super excited to read it. If we could run it, if we could run it back into Michael Bloomberg has favorites and it shows. It's 11 and I'm hungry so let's make some lunch. Okay, I'm done for the day. I'm tidying up my apartment before I go and watch my friend perform at his first comedy show. But right now my apartment looks like a donation bin and I just start like organizing my toys that I won from the claw machine this past weekend. It's crazy. Look at the most useless secret talent. <laughs> got ready and I'm about to go see my friend do his comedy special and because it's winter aka I'm just gonna get bundled up and be really really cold I have no longer have the desire to dress cute that's a week in my life thanks so much for watching I hope that was I don't know I hope that was slightly entertaining if not informative if not I don't know I don't know I hope you got something out of it thanks for watching I'm gonna go I'm gonna go now bye